All right, day 210. Uh, I'm still in my motel room. It's 2.30. Because I decided to take a zero. Uh, no good reason, except I felt like it. Um, and, oh, the reason why I was... This is one of the cheaper motels I've seen my whole trip through here. So I was like, it's a good time to take a zero. Um, yeah, $50. It's a flat, so that's not even added tax, so that's nice. Um, yeah. <sighs> um, yeah, so it keeps my schedule, and I think I have pretty much around 500 miles to go. Um, so this will probably be my last zero for my whole hike. Um, unless if I get like lucky with like a trail angel house or something like that. Um, but yeah, so I'm feeling good right now. Like aches and pains from sleeping on the hard ground and all that stuff are going away. And hopefully I can go fast enough to the next place where my, uh, stuff is waiting my amazon stuff is waiting for me my pad that i can do that in two nights so that's the plan for tomorrow leave bright and early try to get up like get out the door like around 4 30 or something like that and try to get 30 miles in the first day and then i have to average like 25 miles in the next few days so that's how it works i'm 80 miles away so hopefully i can get that done in three days to the next place so Get my pad, maybe I get it sleep in the campground over there. So, yeah, that's the plan. Um, meanwhile, I'll relax, sleep, watch some videos. I've already uploaded pretty much everything I needed to, and uh, yeah, just relax. Uh, before I start the, uh, the final push uh, to get this hike done, all right. See you guys uh, tomorrow. All right, uh, day 211, beginning of. Not really, it's like 11 o'clock right now. I leave a jumping jack in here. A jumping jacks in. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, the decision yesterday in the morning spend a whole nother day here was well uh, impulsive but mostly because of the price of the, the room which is 50 dollars which is one of the cheapest ones i found and, uh, yeah so i knew i wouldn't get a better chance all the cheaper chance anyways of uh, having a bed for like six hours pretty much what happened yeah so Fully loaded with food, uh, water anyway, seven liters, because it's around 30 miles from the, from the first like reliable water is uh, available. So 20 miles from here, there's a there's a creek or a wash, but it might be dry. So, so it's better this way. Yeah, so this should represent my last zero day of oh, yesterday. Should be my last zero day for the, for the trip because I have just a little bit over 500 miles to go. And yeah. And it should be my one of my last days in the motel. There's a few towns like in Sacramento or Oakland where I pretty much have to get a motel just no real choice otherwise but uh yeah should be campgrounds from from here to there anyways especially with a working pad so, yeah. uh so the plan today is to go as far as i can really hopefully more than 15 miles probably starting at 11 o'clock so who knows I did uh get a breakfast burrito this morning and I packed out a BLT so that 
That should be good to eat for lunch anyways. I did pay a little bit too much for all the food I, I've eaten at the convenience store because uh, yeah, the, the restaurant here slash saloon is closed down. They say they're trying to bring it back, but not yet. So yeah, there's that. And uh, just so you guys know, Jack's, uh, Jumping Jack's end is kind of separated. There's one spot on this side of the RV park here where I was, which is near to the store, so it kind of made more sense. And the actual hotel, which is maybe like a half mile, maybe a little more, on the other side of town. So. Sorry. I just offered a ride, so I had to stop. But yeah, uh, I had to say no again. That happens a lot too. So I drop off my key at uh, the main motel area and get get walking while I get into the next big ridge. Because I think it's like 25. 20 miles over the other side, so, yeah. It's already nice and late, wasting a good three days, really. Doing like 13 miles just uh, two days from now, two days ago, zeroing and only doing like a half day today. <clears throat> a slow in general. Maybe I can get 30 miles done in three days. Yeah. Sounds really efficient. Yeah. And uh, hopefully I can get it. It'll be three nights until I get to the next place, which is called Middle Gate. So, yeah. And that's kind of like the last real desert uh, stop that I'll have. Because after that is Virginia City and the beginning of the Tahoe area. And after that, it's only like 60, 70 miles to uh, California. So, maybe even less because I'm going to take a shortcut. Of course. As I get 211 day of starter. All right, later. All right, so now on the uh, other side of the valley, I think that's where I came out yesterday. Oh, two days ago. And I gotta walk up this road a little bit more further. So yeah, I could have just cut across the valley, but I had to get to the town. So, yeah. so now I'm coming back up. As yeah. looking forward to a new view. So I've been stuck with this one for three days. So yeah. As I keep on moving along. All right, later. All right, so that's one pass through. I have another choice of another one up a little farther. I think it's around there. And uh, I'll be taking the second one because this first one is a total of 44 miles. Second one is 30, 30 and a half or something like that. I do have to go up higher on the second one, but I think that's worth. 15 miles, so that's about a like 4,200 foot gain up. So yeah, nice little climb, which I probably won't finish today. It's like uh, 12, 13 miles. And uh, yeah, I've already gone. Like six or so, and it's like 130, 140 right now. So, probably not enough time to finish it. That's okay, I can do the tough top part in tomorrow morning. Maybe the last three or four miles or something. Yeah, this is uh, actually an actual official bypass. Well, bypass it uh, 
John recommended. It's shorter, it's deeper, and not as much water. So, yeah. But if you're carrying enough water like I am, start off with seven, probably have like six and a half left right now. It's more than enough. And there's a few chances for water in between that, uh, the guide wasn't sure about, so. So it might be even easier, but that's okay. As I get to the pass, another, oh, rather big, a bigger, uh, a bigger range than the last two I had to go through. There. So yeah, ready to keep on going. Alright, so I made it to Ophir Canyon, about five miles up, I think four so a thousand feet up. Uh, just leaving the lightly populated Carver's Canyon, uh, Carver's uh, Valley. I don't know the actual name of it, but that's where Carver's is. Oh, it's more that direction behind that tree. Yeah, so this is the next section. Um, it looks like there might be water around here, which would be nice. Get top off. That would make uh, going up and over easier. But yeah, this is gonna be pretty steep. It's like four or so thousand mile feet over like five and a half miles. So yeah, it's going to be fun as I uh, keep on moving up. Seeing something new. All right, later. All right. So there is water at Ophir Canyon. Plenty, actually. Wish I'd known about that, but it wasn't marked, so I assumed that there wasn't. So this is at mile 24 of, the, of this section. Uh, so yeah, uh, right at the right at the mouth of the canyon as you go up. So I'll top off here because I don't know how long this lasts. Uh, it looks like I'll be carrying too much. That's better than carrying too little. Yeah, plenty of water. All right, later. All right, so this uphill, no joke. It's a good 10 to 15% the whole way up. Maybe even more. Great, anyways. Uh, the, the road itself is clear. A little overgrown. Maybe it's getting worse, I don't know. It's getting a little bit uh, more enclosed as I get farther up. But uh, nothing that's impeded me so far. I've crossed the, uh, the creek, I guess it's more of a stream, multiple times without getting my feet, feet, feet wet. So yeah, I have a feeling that this creek is here all the time. Yeah, it seems like there's enough water flowing right now, or even a dry, a dry time, that'd still be flowing. Which makes sense with how, uh, how fast I'm gaining elevation here, so yeah. Yeah, I definitely won't finish tonight, even though I only have like 4.1 miles left up but it's going to be slow going and it's almost well it's 5 30 right now so got maybe an hour and 15 minutes left so yeah actually no more hour and 45 minutes but hopefully i can just end in with uh just a few miles for the morning. Yeah. Haven't had a real climb like this since, hmm. It's gotta be at least three, 400 miles. So yeah. It's a chore, that's for sure. As I uh, try to keep on moving up. At least I got a full break 
yesterday before I tackled this. But it's not the struggle I thought it was going to be. Well, I feared it was because I thought there'd be no water on this side of the hill. But there is. So, really, just a matter of going uphill. All right, later. All right, so, uh, actually seeing a lot of, uh, well, I've seen a few ruins. Old homesteads. Probably at least 100 years old. More than that. Yeah, it shows how, uh, How long ago people are uh, well, homesteading here, I guess. It's pretty cool. It's, uh, yeah. We've been here long enough. At least European settlers where we where there's ruins now. That wasn't the case a couple hundred years ago. So yeah, maybe even a hundred years ago. So that's cool. Hoping there's more spots like this along the way. It's got about maybe another 40 minutes until I have to camp. Try to get another mile in, at least. I'm still about three miles from the top. That's going to be three tough miles. I'm going to do it all tomorrow. Even though I resign myself to having to spend three nights out here before I get to the next, uh, well, to Middlegate Station, I'd rather have another easy day on the third day. Well, the fourth day coming. Only like 15 or less miles that day. Should be possible. Still pretty cool. All these ruins. There's some more right there. All right, later. All right. It's the end of day 211. Trail's right over there, but I'm gonna try to camp right here. Not the flattest of spots. Hopefully, it's kind of soft. Yeah. Not really. Uh, but yeah, I'm about two miles from the top. It's around probably 8,400 feet. So. I didn't want to get too high before I stopped, just so it's not going to be as cold, or um, just so I can get a little bit better sleep. Uh, and then I'll do the rest of uh, this climb in the morning, and then try to get as much done afterwards. So, uh, hopefully I start early enough. I'll well, plan to, but usually that plan is foiled by my laziness in the morning. But, yeah. I'll get up early enough. Or not, but maybe I will. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Later.